what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it is your girl colors and i am back with another video and today's video is gonna be another bump date now before i get into the details about what's been going on i first want to start out by i guess addressing or acknowledging some questions that people have been asking me so far in this pregnancy journey that i've been having because I feel like I'm being asked a lot all over the place and some people are feeling like I'm just holding back. But I think it'll be easier to just address it now and to kind of say something about it so you guys can just know where I'm at with it. Now, the biggest question I want to answer is how far along am I? Now I'll tell you just a second, hold on. According to the pregnancy app that I follow, I am exactly 11 weeks and six days. Okay, you guys. Now, I kind of want to go back to some people who asked me because in my Instagram, I had posted maybe a week ago that I was 12 weeks. I thought I was 12 weeks. And that's the reason why I hashtagged it. Because if you see in this app, which it was kind of confusing. It says currently I'm 12 weeks. So I've been going by that and I was kind of confused. But if I'm going off the first day of my period and what my doctor says, they said that I'm 11 weeks and six days. So clearly I am behind on my bump dates. Clearly there's some info and videos and stuff that you guys are missing out on. And I believe I addressed this in another video or maybe in a live stream that I recently did, which I am planning on doing at least once a week to start out with. I had a lot of fun doing that. If you guys can, if you could tell me that if you're interested in watching some live streams from me to where we just kind of have casual conversation and bounce off each other, what is a good time to do that? Because when I live stream, I believe it was yesterday. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. I live streamed yesterday and I think it was started around 12 o'clock. So yeah, just answer me that one question. There are other videos coming out. So clearly because I'm 11 weeks and six days, I have had my first ultrasound. I have had my second ultrasound and those videos will be coming out. You know, I had personal reasons why I was battling, putting out information, even though I have pride myself off of being like super open and honest, and I really have been. I just wanted to take things how I wanted to take them. So I'm not leaving you guys out. It's just, you know, sometimes people realize that, you know, this is the life I'm living and when i put out things i don't think people realize that there are people in my actual life that are seeing these things too and sometimes there are certain things that i don't want people in my actual life to know so i kind of battle with dang now people in my life is starting to find out i do youtube and some things i don't want people to know yet but i want y'all to know but i don't want them to know so it's just crazy, I don't know. Yeah, so now that I ramble enough about that and now we are on one page, we can go ahead and get to my seven and eight week bump date. Alrighty then. One of the first things that, oh child, I feel like some of these are gonna be repetitive, but you know. Mm. The first thing I noticed from my fifth and sixth week going into my seventh and eighth week, I realized that the sickness gradually started to get worse. So when I was in more of my fifth and sixth week, I was more so sick on and off nausea, but I could still eat everything. I didn't have any issues with that. You know, I just would sometimes if I was eating at the right time or I was eating too late, I would get sick, but I was mostly all right. Going into my seventh and eighth week now, it was starting to get a little bit more real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when I'm telling you that I'm, that I'm sick, I was starting to get woken up out my sleep type sickness. Like, 
I'm chilling, dreaming about what my life can be like later. You know, living in my dream house and being with my husband and having three or four kids, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, that is ripped away from me. I gotta throw up. And that's a problem. Like, it's a real problem. The second thing was my boobs start to get more sore. Now, I, like I said in my other video, I noticed that my boobs were getting sore and starting to get bigger. But when I was hitting my seventh and eighth week now, my chest was starting to get a little heavy. You know what I'm saying? You know, I always kind of, I didn't, I don't want to say always, but I talked to my husband about, you know, throughout the almost eight years we've been together, um, about, you know, after having a child and all this and that, if our money is where it should be, I want to eventually get boob implants. Now that is my own personal decision. Am I still sure that I want to do it? Not exactly, but I always told him like, you know, I want to get boob implants because you know, my boobs have always been pretty flat. Now I know it's probably hard for you guys to tell because you know, I probably look a little, you know, a little, a little bit sort of kind of top heavy but I always made jokes about how my chest looked five and that's how it was like my cleavage never touched each other they never became friends they never like connected like that so I always said I wanted to get boobs but now it's like when I hit my seven eight weeks it's like hey my boobs got a little weight on it like I can boom 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 and my husband loves it chat oh <laughs> In my seventh and eighth week, mind you, since you guys already know how far along I am, you would know that in my eighth week is actually around the time of my birthday. So we had went to Orlando and went to City Walk. And I remember that my sense of smell was ridiculous. Like, I feel like my nose was like a greyhound. Like if police needed me to sniff out anything, I got them. Like I remember there was a woman and we went to like downtown Disney where it's called Disney Springs and it's like shopping and stuff like that. So I remember there was a woman at a distance coming past us as we were going this way. And she's probably like a good, at least four feet away. And I could smell that she was eating a mint chocolate chip cookie way down there. Like I knew what she had already. And then my husband was like, you smelled that? And I was like, yeah, I know what she has. But yeah, my sense of smell has increased tremendously. I know people always talk about that when it comes to pregnant people and smells, but I got a nose on me, child. <laughs> the next thing is shortness of breath. Like you would swear I was like seven, eight months pregnant. I would get like, <sighs> and it's like, bruh, you not even carrying a load. But I was really, winded like I would talk and after like saying a couple sentences it was like I gotta like catch my breath that was kind of annoying because when people look at me it's like I can't tell them yet that I'm pregnant but um they're looking at me crazy and I'm winded I just look fat like <sighs> that was annoying the next thing is oh in my seven to eight, eight week, I had no longer any more nosebleeds, which was good. I think I mentioned this in my fifth and sixth week, but in my seven to eight week, I was still waking up every day between two and three o'clock. And it's like, not like when I was waking up at two or three, it was like I was rushing to the bathroom or anything like that. No, nope. just wake up and wide awake and had no life. Like just sitting up there on YouTube watching videos because I clearly can't sleep. And I woke up my husband quite a few times just because my phone was going off. Yeah, that's that. Oh, now this one blows my mind. Like, it is the most annoying thing about this whole process. Tremendously annoying. Like, I have started <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I have started in my seventh and eighth week to become musty. Now, before you judge, <laughs> I did find out this is pregnancy symptoms. 
because of your I guess your pH or something your hormones changing like this stuff is not same but it's not like I was musty because of you know I'm not taking a bath I'm not putting on deodorant and stuff like that and it was literally only my armpits it's not like down there child no but it was just like my armpits like I could smell me getting musty and, and it was like a different scent that I wasn't used to so how do I explain this so it'll be like anything I do if it was um any type of strenuous thing where I sweat I'll become musty immediately like if I go to the store and like waste energy and then come back I'm musty like I go to work come back musty no matter how much deodorant perfume or anything like that I would be musty. I, I, it got to the point to where I was taking uh, taking three, four showers a day, or I'll take like two big showers and like whole baths, like <laughs> whole baths, and like rewashing my armpits and re deodorizing and stuff like that, and using baby powder. It's, you know, I don't know what this is. Well, I do know what this is from, but I'm not used to it because I am used to being the girl who always smell good, like who. I, like get a lot of compliments on always smelling good like every day that's not me being extra and like oh like I'm that chick but like I pride myself on always smelling good like I literally probably have 75 bottles of perfume like I have perfume for when I get shower when I go to bed when I'm casual when I'm like dressed up I have perfume for everything and to be going through like this must thing it is driving me insane and because I have the nose of a greyhound, it's even worse. Like, there's been times that because I can smell so well, like, I literally made myself sick. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. But I'm being honest. Like, I literally have smelt myself after doing little labor and be like, like literally want to throw up because it, it's it's like a weird musty like i don't know i don't like it it's something that started in my seven to eight week and it need to go back where it came from like thank god like i never been called out except for like once or twice by my husband but i mean what do you expect the next thing is i had my seven week ultrasound I lost two more pounds, making that six pounds altogether by my 78 weeks that I lost. I still couldn't stay up late at all. And David was still getting mad at me because he still couldn't watch his love and hip hop and Are You The One and all the other shows that we watch. About when I was eight weeks is, like I said, when we went to Orlando and we did the whole seafood thing. You know, it was really tough for me to try to like eat all the seafood. We went to Boston Lobster in Orlando, Florida, and that was cool. And I did really like it when we was there. I quickly did get tired of the lobster when I was there, but it was still pretty good. After that day, I was like, still completely bloated like it was ridiculous it took me about four days to really like digest that food and ever since then i have hated seafood i still taste the lobster in my mouth like it's not as bad but i'm i'm not a fan right now i don't know what it is exactly but ever since that day and maybe it was like because it took me so long to digest and i still had that taste in my mouth forever it's like, I, I feel sick just thinking about it right now. Like, I do not want nothing to do with seafood. David had uh, shrimp curry and onion the other day and oh, I hate it every time he reheated the food. And the last thing is that I started to get bigger, um, like bumps around my nipples. For some reason, my boobs didn't really like my nipple rings and they started to get little keloids. I think they were, it's like little bubbles around them. Yeah, I was really fighting hard to like cut that down. So it did go away and then come back, go away, come back. And yeah, that ultimately led to my new decision to take out my new ring, my 
nipple rings but yeah i started to get like giant bumps around them now if somebody can answer this question for me where did the milk come out of is it the bumps around the nipple or is it the nipple itself it might sound so stupid but i'm really curious about that is it the bumps around the like pokey part i need to know that because i'm assuming it's in the middle but when i look at the center of my nipples it don't look like nothing can come out of that so if y'all can answer me that one question, I would really appreciate it. So I think that's gonna be all for this video. I really appreciate you guys continuing to follow me on my journey. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.